All right, guys, so today I'm going to do a video and I'm going to try to explain to the best of my knowledge, um, as it was explained to me, what exactly chrome vanadium is and what cases new carbon steel is. So what I did, um, where I work, we rebuild um, large industrial electric motors. And along those lines comes a lot of uh, material testing. And what they're normally doing is they're testing for conductivity. Um, you know, how well a metal, particular metal carries electric current. And um, so a couple of years ago, they got this gun, um, sort of a tool. And you can use this gun to analyze uh, metals. And basically what it does is it... Um, basically it, it can tell you the chemical properties of whatever metal you're you're shooting with it um and i was kind of hoping that i would be able to just really give y'all an absolute 100 percent definitive answer as to what the new carbon steel is and also what chrome vanadium actually is so i was a little disappointed um when the engineer told me that you know this was like 95 percent accurate and basically the reason he says that is because this gun doesn't just shoot out a number and say hey this is 1095 or you know hey this is chrome steel blah 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 um basically it just tells you all the different chemical make the different chemical makeup that it detects and then you have to look at a chart and you have to cross reference this chart to figure out you know what metal you actually have so what he told me was chrome vanadium, this case, chrome vanadium is 1084 with added chromium. So like I said, y'all may listen to me say that and go, oh, that, you know, that's crazy. I'm just telling you what the engineer told me. You know, he analyzed these blades, uh, these exact two knives. He analyzed these blades with that gun they have. It's it, it shaped like a pistol is the reason I'm calling it a gun. But he analyzed them. It detected all the different um, properties of this steel. They cross-referenced it with the chart, and he said this was 1084 with added chromium. And that was about all he could tell me. Um, and then moving on to this one, this one that will surprise me, okay? We hear tool steel brought up a lot when talking about knives. According to the engineer, this carbon steel right here is 0-6 tool steel. Uh, so like I said, they, they tested this thing. They picked up on all the different chemical properties, cross-referenced the chart, and the best match of this blade was 0-6 tool steel. Now, I was told repeatedly that the carbon steel, the new carbon steel that they're basically replacing the chrome vanadium with was in fact 1095. Um... And I think I've heard people say that even case representatives have said that. Um, I thought it was strange that they would call some knives carbon steel and not actually tell you what the, the steel itself was. And then other knives they mark with 1095. There's got to be some kind of difference, I feel like. Or they would all just be 1095 blades. I, I don't really know, you know. That just seems strange to me that some of them get marked 1095, some of them get marked carbon steel, and yet people are saying they're all 1095. So the engineer told me this blade in this carbon steel knife was 0 6 tool steel. Chrome vanadium is 1084 with added chromium. So this is just going to be a quick one. Uh, there's no need in y'all um, asking me a bunch of questions in the comments because I pretty much told you everything I know. Um, so if your opinion differs, you can tell me about it in the comments. I, I don't know. I'm just passing along what they told me. Like I said, I, I thought when I first took them in there and had them tested, they'd be able to give me a, a little bit more definitive answer. But I guess 95% is, is not bad either. So that's the information I was able to get. I know a lot of people... Um, have had these questions about these blade steels because cases typically they're they're pretty vague about what they're using 
So anyway, tell me what you think about that. If you agree, disagree, or if you think it makes sense. And, um, you know, hit that like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.